What I'd like to show you next is how to take a time series. So to do that with the system, first you set up all the things that you want to do, and they can be very complicated. They can involve tiles, they can involve z-stacks, whatever it might be. Here, for simplicity, I just have a single image in one channel. You click time series, and here you set the duration and the interval that you want. So the duration is how many uh, times you want to do things if you use cycles, or for how long you want to do things if you use hours, minutes, or seconds. Um, and then the interval is the spacing in time between the start of the first cycle and the start of the next cycle. So here I've told it I want to do five cycles with five seconds in between them. If I start the experiment, what's going to happen is it'll take an image, it'll wait however long it uh, needs to for the next one, and so notice that it's not waiting five seconds between them, it's making sure that the time between them is five seconds. So if it takes, you know, uh, a third of a second or half a second to take an image, it needs to wait an extra four and a half uh, before the next one. Once the images have been taken, you can see you can uh, move them in time here. This is uh, obviously completely uninteresting because it's not alive, it's not moving, it's not doing anything. Uh, but you can see that you have the images as a function of time. Uh, frequently, you, you may want to autosave these images uh, as you go. And if you, that's the case, you click on autosave, and here you can define how you want things named, where you want them to go, etc. cetera. Uh, 